In Germany, massive death and destruction prevailed, and when it was all over, things seemed to be pretty much the way they were before. In France, nobles took advantage of the middle class unrest to try to undo absolutism and restore their influence. They couldn't agree about what government would work best for them, uh, and they, so absolutism was restored because it was better government than none. Uh, but let's talk about a couple of differences. Uh, first of all, religious problems. After the 17th century crisis, the general feeling is that vi religion, particularly when it comes to Protestants and Catholicism, is just no longer worth killing for. That doesn't mean it's not important, but it also is not just something that people should be killing each other over. So the differences in Christianity lost their lost a little bit of their importance. There's also more of a feeling that they may, may that maybe we should just let people worship the w as they choose to do, uh, rather than force force them to worship the way we want them to do. As for a constitutional case, there is a sense that countries would be better off if nobles and monarchs cooperated with one another rather than resisted. Monarchs in, became, in Europe become the most important part of European, European government. This is the golden age of the kings. But these kings use the nobles to exercise their rule. Instead of resisting the monarch, the nobles become the monarch's army's officers, the bureaucrats, advisors, and governors. And as officers, they maintain their influence in the government. As to the economy, after 1655, the European economy begins to expand once more. And as a part of that expansion, begins to create the institutions that would lead eventually to what's known as the Industrial Revolution. This meant that more sophisticated banking, greater overseas trade, limited liability laws, and other devices uh, would allow for greater investment. The European economy was, was, during this time was laying the groundwork for expansion of the 18th century and the eventual explosion in the 19th.